here's what it looks like this evening. Deer Valley, Bald Mountain facing down towards Dordanelle. 40, UN is off in the distance. Beautiful evening, but we do have partly cloudy sky tonight. Temperatures currently for Provo 48, 50 for Ogden, 41 for Tooele. So we're going to end up with temperatures tomorrow, just like today, but we're one day closer to the weekend, so there's a win. <laughs> and then we're going to have, though, some more storms that move in this upcoming weekend. Tomorrow, a little breezy at times, but overall, a pleasant start to your day tomorrow, mid 40s, wear the warmer jacket when you send the kids out to school. But uh, this evening, Partly cloudy sky here for northern Utah, a bit more clear once you get into central Utah, past Utah County, down through Schofield, Ephraim, Richfield, Beaver along I-15, down through Cedar into St. George, mostly clear sky. Tomorrow morning here in Salt Lake City, we're going to be about 45 when you first wake up, low 50s by 10 a.m., and then we're going to have our temperatures into the mid-60s after lunchtime tomorrow. It's going to be an awesome Thursday here across Utah. Now, when you first wake up tomorrow morning around freezing for Park City and then upper 30s for Evanston, Logan, low 40s for Provo and then mid 40s for Ogden and Salt Lake City. Tomorrow afternoon, look at these temperatures. Low 60s for Provo at 5 p.m. Even Park City close to 60 and then our temperatures for Salt Lake Ogden and Logan tomorrow afternoon, again, mid 60s. But let's talk about those changes arriving for this upcoming weekend. Clouds at times over the next few days. A weak storm brushes by northern Utah on Saturday. So yes, it'll be a cool start. We also do have that chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms Saturday here across northern Utah. So we'll want to keep our eye on that. If you are going to be going to the walk, I'm going to throw an umbrella in my car just in case. Probably just bring it with me or bring a backpack with a poncho or something or wear your rain jacket. We're going to have that chance for some rain here across northern Utah on Saturday. But our bigger storm arrives late in the weekend into early next week. Take a look at this. Lots of rain here across the entire region. This moves through. We're going to see quite a bit of snowfall up in the mountains especially on Tuesday. So some slick commutes, but our rain projection, wow, California up through Oregon, looking at maybe even close to three to four inches of rain, if not more. Here across Utah, we're even going to see some impressive rain totals out of this. Of course, for the highest elevations, we'll be seeing this in the form of snow, but this projection does bring uh, potentially two inches of liquid to the mountains of northern Utah. So for temperatures, St. George, you're close to 80 degrees Thursday, Friday, and then by early to middle part of next week, you're into the 60s, a chance for some rain on Monday along the Wasatch Front. Quite the cool down Friday into Saturday, a high of only 56 for Saturday, and then a high close to 50 for next Tuesday. More chances for rain and snow. Weeks storm on Saturday, and then later this weekend into early next week.